All right, I'm going to be annotating a song called Name by Goo Goo Dolls, and I'd like you to pay attention to what I notice about my song as I annotate it. All right, so here's the lyrics to the song. Um, this is one of my favorite songs I've been listening to since high school. All right. <clears throat> and even though the moment passed me by, I still can't turn away, because all the dreams you never thought you'd lose got tossed along the way and letters that you never meant to send get lost or thrown away. All right, so I'm gonna start writing about what I think this means. We often get stuck in the past. We can't stop replaying a moment in our mind. Hmm. All the dreams you thought you'd never lose. I like that a lot. Um, kind of reminds me of in childhood, we believe in so many things. I believed in fairies. I thought they were real and they lived in my garden. But now I've grown up. I think it also <clears throat> is talking about how you have dreams for your future someday, but they don't always come true. They get tossed along the way. Yeah, that, that hits me real deep. Um, as you grow up, there are things that you have to give up, and sometimes bad things happen to us, or we move, or we lose people, and it seems like our dreams aren't the same, but we find new dreams. And letters that you never meant to send get lost or thrown away. So this reminds me of back in my day when we used to actually write physical letters <laughs> um, and notes to people. One of the ways that you could deal with something emotionally is to write a letter to vent, but not send it. And that's because you want to make sure that you don't actually share your raw feelings with someone because they might hurt somebody. Um, but often you hold on to those letters or you end up writing letters in your diary and you hold on to those because they mean something to you. But as time goes on, you know, physically and Metaphorically, those feelings get lost or thrown away as time, time erases things. And now we're grown-up orphans that never knew their names. We don't belong to no one, that's a shame. Okay, so it's interesting. We often think of our parents as the source of our identities and who we are. Um, they are the ones who end up giving us our names, after all. And so if our parents are gone, whether literally dead or emotionally gone, it can often feel like we don't belong to anyone. And not belonging to anyone can make us often feel like our life can feel empty or we often don't know who we are. I'm going to put a question right there. I'm going to say, who are we without the source of our identity? If you could hide beside me maybe for a while, and I won't tell no one your name, and I won't tell them your name. Okay, so this is continuing that sort of trend of the name being who we are. But in a way, sometimes we don't want anyone to know who we really are. Sometimes we only share our true selves with a few or even one person. And it sounds like he's talking about, so the, the singer of this band, John Resnick, is a man, so I'm going to assume that this is from his point of view. 
And I know that he's um, straight, so he usually dates women. I'm going to assume he's talking about a woman he loves, that you know he wants to protect her by, he's saying not telling anyone your name, but I think metaphorically he means he wants to keep their private moments private. Which makes sense because he's a very famous singer, especially in the 90s, and so it would be really hard to have like a private love life as a celebrity. I like to use symbols a lot when I'm taking notes, so I'm actually going to... Um, I'm going to use an emoji, actually, I think. Which you guys can also do on your MacBook, just by going up here to Edit, Emoji, and Symbols. All right, next stanza. And scars are souvenirs you never lose. The past is never far. Did you lose yourself somewhere out there? Did you get to be a star? And don't it make you sad to know that life is more than who we are? Man, these songs, they're simple, but they're so deep. Okay, scars are souvenirs you never lose. Isn't that the truth? And I think he's talking about more than just physical scars. Emotional scars are often souvenirs or reminders of what we've been through. Um, the past is never far. Ooh. We often try to outrun our pasts, but as we grow up, we realize that's impossible. The past is part of who we are no matter what we try to do. Okay, getting real deep with this song. Did you lose yourself somewhere out there? Did you get to be a star? Okay, so yeah, I think this is him talking about his personal life as a singer. Um, often celebrities will talk about how they finally make their big break and they get to where they want to be and they realize it's really not as great as they thought it was. Don't it make you sad to know that life is more than who we are? Okay, so I think this is referring to often we think that our life is all-encompassing of our mind. We are obsessed with ourselves, which makes sense. I mean, we're individuals. But as you get older, you realize how very big the world is, how very long human history has been, and all in all, how actually insignificant you are to the world as a whole but I think what this is also talking about is how you can be someone else's whole world basically whoever knows your name as in whoever knows the real you can make you special We grew up way too fast, and now there's nothing to believe, and reruns all become our history. A tired song keeps playing on a tired radio. Okay, yeah, I mean, often when we're young, all we want is to grow up because we think that we'll be able to build a better life for ourselves than we're having as a kid. But as a grown-up, I will let you know that growing up too fast can often leave you with regret. Um, wondering if maybe you missed out on a few moments of innocence that you otherwise would have had. Um, reruns all become our history. Um, I think this is both referring to watching reruns as a kid, but also um, but also referring to um, 
life being repetitive in a way because, you know, it feels like life goes in cycles and you seem to experience the same things over and over again, being broke, um, getting dumped, uh, losing a friend, meeting new friends, getting a new job, moving to a new place. Often it can feel like it's just a bunch of repetitions. Um, a tired song keeps playing on a tired radio. I think that's just his mind going around in circles on the same problems. It feels like our problems never really go away in our mind. They just evolve and change with us. And I won't tell no one your name, and I won't tell them your name. So just, you know, some repetition of keeping their bond and special moments secret. Or private, I would say. I won't tell them your name. Mm -mm -mm. I won't tell them your name. Oh, I think about you all the time, but I don't need the same. It's lonely where you are. Come back down, and I won't tell them your name. Okay, so this one's a little deep. I think about you all the time, but I don't need the same. I think he's saying, I don't need you to drown me with affection or attention. I just want you to know I think about you and love you. Okay, and so the next part it's lonely where you are, come back down. That's a little tricky, but I've been thinking about it for a bit. And what I think he means is, I have placed you on a pedestal. When we say that something or someone has been placed on a pedestal, we mean that they are being worshiped by someone. Um, which often can put a lot of pressure on the person being put on the pedestal because it means that that person is counting on them and looking up to them. But in reality, we're all humans, and so putting someone on a pedestal is dangerous because they're not perfect. They're not a statue. They're not a work of art. They're a human. So um, putting all your worth in your relationship with one person can be dangerous. And so I think what he's saying is you're up there on that pedestal trying to be perfect, but you can come back down here with me and I'll keep you safe. Like he said earlier in the song, he said, if you could hide beside me maybe for a while. So, wow, this song is pretty deep and I really enjoy it. Um, hope you liked my annotations and we're going to talk about how you can uh, do this with your own song or poem that you chose for class today. Thanks.